let's go and make history let's make this the first long review in Australian history to make it to a million views so go and tell your friends we're gonna have a face vodka face off and I kid you not I was planning to do this before last night's game with the Matilda so it turns out the Matilda's lost against the British no great surprise but they're playing Sweden so what was I going to review this week and, and that I was going to review absolute vodka so because Australia is playing Sweden apparently sometime next week let's um see how the absolute global dominating uh, vodka brand out of um, North Scandinavia Sweden compares now I've reviewed the Australian vodkas that I'm going to compare this to okay so I have reviewed Port Phillip Distillery's premium vodka which I am still remaining convinced is the best vodka I've ever drunk it's incredibly smooth and if you really want the long review it's going to be in the links but this is really incredibly dangerous drinking because it's so incredibly smooth now I've got the uh, Sunflower vodka out of my friend Mick and Bu um, and that is also incredibly smooth and easy drinking not quite as dangerous as the vodka out of Port Phillip then we have the Australian Botanical Vodka out of Archie Rose which is in Sydney so tell you about that so all three of the Australian vodkas I've reviewed so this is going to be very much about comparing this one to the global brand are the sweets is good so I've already poured myself a helpful little amount this is vodka um the nose is very different allow me to suddenly reach up yep there we are I can't well stop the nose on the um, absolute is simply stronger and I give the sound of happiness we're going to compare it to the product made in significantly smaller numbers than Absolute does. I'm certain that the Absolute distillery more likely produces more bad batches than Chris makes at um, Port Phillip distillery. Yeah. Okay, Absolute in this glass. But I'm as you white cap. So right hand is the Swedes, left hand is the Aussie. The Swedish has got a more pronounced nose. They're straight up and down, I can smell it. They're, and to make it even more interesting, they're actually identical alcohol percentages. Um, and in my room at the moment, it's about 13 degrees. So. The sweet stuff, to be entirely honest with you, is actually rougher drinking. I've always said that the problem with um, <clears throat> what Chris is producing is that it doesn't taste its alcohol percentage. So, but the only thing they've got in common is the fact that they both fight kids and they've both got that wonderful overproof burn. So, and I, <clears throat> to move away from Chris, and I don't have any of the um, imbue left, so I can't go sipping that out live on air. And you can see how much isn't in the Archie Rose bottle. The simple fact of the matter is, is that if all you've ever drunk is absolute, and you want a fair idea of how Australian um, vodkas produce, here are three, two of which happen to be from Melbourne. The Australian vodkas are actually significantly better. Um, they're not as rough. The, the Swedes are, you know, they just it's a it's a rougher batch to be honest, be honest with you. Um, the you know absolute is owned by the Swedish government. It makes an absolute truck down of vodka a year, and makes a killing on the international market. But if you're an Australian or a Kiwi, or I think the UK, we have no trouble shipping into. And you want to get yourself onto something into vodkas that are significantly easier drinking, then you're going to have to go having a chat to Chris, and the link will be in the um, description, or Mick at Imbu with his wonderful sunflower vodka, or having a chat to the people at Archie Rose, who I actually haven't met in person. If I have, I've forgotten their name. That's my fault. So 
this is the great um, Aussie face-off like we're about to have in the World Cup um, soccer between the Matildas and Sweden um, and for me although I'm a proud Australian um, I'm also a proud you know, discerning drinker and the Aussie stuff is simply smoother drinking it's just that simple it's not as on the nose so much 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 smoother drinking much easier drinking you will realize in the, in the cocktails i've made this unrealized um you know and cocktail and um, stuff even the um port for the mule the christmas vodka really blends in to the cocktail it's not an obvious vodka whereas the swedish stuff i go making a vodka screwdriver of like a sunrise at rise out of, out of the absolute Helmet and that's the it's in there. So let's see if we can get this baby pumped up to um, a million views. Let's go and trash it, people. Um, thank you for watching. There are no numbers because basically I've run out of numbers. Um, so go and see if you can do some other competition. But above all, let's get these views up to a million and hit those subscriber numbers because we're going to punch it. And there will be more international uh, reviews coming and more comparative. That way I can introduce my Australian fire league to just how good the spirits are here. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe notification buttons and let's get this baby. A million people, a million.